Today we're going to be talking about critical infrastructure vulnerabilities associated with SCADA and IT OT environments. Examples of this could be your local water treatment plant and energy producing facility, or recently in the headlines, the Colonial Pipeline. All these components are critical to the entire energy supply chain as they are responsible for keeping your home heated, your faucets flowing with clean water, and your car gas tank full. Behind all of the infrastructure at utility and energy companies, there are SCADA and ITOT environments used for communication and interconnectivity throughout the network. A key aspect is that the interconnectivity in the network also resides with the operations of external IT systems. And where a major vulnerability lies is the communication between the IT systems and the SCADA assets. One of the most common factors that can compromise a SCADA environment is because of the inadequate segregation between their IT and OT environments. Without segregation between the two, unintentionally you could allow a host connected to the IT network to reach a device on your SCADA network, allowing for malware or ransomware on an IT system to spread to the OT environment. Additionally, your SCADA was not likely built to connect to the internet, so it potentially was not designed with security in mind. I state this because of the potential use of the same protocols used on the initial setup could still be being used today. An example would be the Modbus protocol, which uses clear text communication, which in itself is a red flag for internal security, as this leaves you susceptible to attackers listening to your data across your network. Additionally, the Modbus protocol does not have proper authorization, which could lead to updating the ladder logic program or shutting down the PLC from unauthorized access. A few recommendations for locking down the security posture of your organization would be to review existing segmentation and preventative measures. Utilizing network monitoring across internal OT networks to provide insight on your communication between the IT and OT connections. Additionally, monitoring ingress and egress traffic, and it's crucial to do the same with the east-west lateral movement traffic. Ensure backups are being performed across the Crown Jewel OT systems, and ensure there is an offline copy in the event that an online system becomes encrypted from ransomware. These recommendations are important for not only increasing your security posture, but making sure your data is segmented throughout your network to ensure that not everything gets encrypted during a ransomware attack.